to another video. Today we'll be looking at my Mega Genesis collection. It's really small, but I think a few of the games that I have for it are somewhat decent, in my opinion. So it's like a small but sweet collection, I would say. But the first game we're going to look at is Andrade Racing. So as you can see right here, this one is a loose cartridge. I think this one I got through Luki Games when I had enough points to redeem and I think they might have just had the game alone on its own without the case. Uh, it was either that or maybe I did pick it up at like retro game store in uh, Penn State, but I'm not fully sure. Either way, I don't think I've really played it much, if at all, but it did look decent when I looked at it online so I figured why not get it. So uh, The next game we're going to look at here is Cliffhanger. I think this one's based off of a movie. I've never seen the movie. I haven't really played this game other than trying it out on like an emulator on a website just to see if it's uh, interesting. Do I, like, am I willing to pick it up? Is it worthwhile? And it seems pretty decent. It does come with the manual as you can see right here and the game. So pretty decent condition. The cover art has a little bit of, I don't know if you can see it right there, it has a little bit of wear and tear on it, but overall it's pretty solid. So. I'm not complaining here. Um, the next one is Asterix. So this one I got from a retro game store near me. I'm about 20 minutes away or so, but uh, I had the game already on a loose cartridge, but when I saw it complete, pretty much it has the manual and it comes in this case here. I figured why not pick that up, so that's what I ended up going with. My friends, I think, planning to buy the loose cartridge from me as part of a trade that we're doing, so I'll give them that, but yeah, I'm happy to have this. I used to play an Asterix game on PlayStation 2 back in the day, and I used to watch the show when I was younger, so um, I think I'm about to try it a little bit on, em on an emulator, but I'm not having to actually like, play the physical version of it yet, so it's one of those things I gotta come around. What you'll notice is uh, like, pretty much most of the games that I have here, I haven't yet fully played through them. I'm personally fairly new to the Genesis system and the games for it, so. Um, so the next one we have here is Tasmania. So, pretty interesting looking game. Also comes with the manual in the game, so. And Taz, obviously, from like Looney Tunes and that sort of thing, is a fairly well known character, so. Um, yeah. I don't really have much else to say about that one. The next game we have here is the Gold Max. You can see it right here. But this one I actually tried it on, I think like Genesis Mini console from AT Games or whatever version of it that they have. They have it on there and it seemed like a pretty fun game. So when I saw it on sale at the store, I figured why not pick it up. So. Um, it was like really cheap too, surprisingly. I expected it to be more. It might be because it's one of these like, I don't know if this is supposed to be like the greatest hits version of the games from the Genesis time, but I figured why not get it, right? So the next one we have here is The Revenge of Shinobi. This one I got from Bits and Glory. Um, feel free to check him out. He does sell some stuff on eBay sometimes. I'll I link his uh, account in the description since I've been doing a number of trades with him for a lot of these videos especially, so uh, this one I think doesn't have the- or actually it does have a manual, so this one has a manual. This was like an extra copy that he got from a bundle of games that he picked up a few months ago, so he sold me this one, so pretty happy to have it. I haven't really played any other Shinobi games than Shinobi 3, and that's kind of been my favorite one so far, so by like even one of my favorite games on the Genesis, so. And speaking about Shinobi 3, we actually have Shinobi 3 right here. So this does not come with a manual, but it was like 20 some dollars. It's a pretty good price for the game overall. Obviously with the manual it probably could have been a little bit closer to 40, I think. But um I mean if you've played the game, you know it's a good game. If you don't think it's a good game, I mean everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but I think it's a pretty solid game. It plays pretty well. The bosses are pretty tough, but especially when you're not used to them. But otherwise, it's a great game. I almost have it complete. Um, I've only played through it like using save points on the emulator's console. 
at some point I'll try to play through the whole game in one sitting. I'll probably be like maybe like a marathon type of thing, but we'll see what happens. So next game that a lot of you Genesis fans might know is Sword of Vermilion. This is one of those games I've heard a lot about, so when I saw it at the store for a decent price, I picked it up. At some point I'm planning to play through it. I love the old school RPG games, I just don't play them much. So part of it is just having to connect that old systems. Like I have most of my new consoles, like PS5, PS4, whatever connected and pretty much ready to go at what, like whatever time. But the current setup that I have in my room, I don't really have space to connect a lot of the old systems. When I do connect them to play them, it's usually like a hassle. I have to plan it, connect it to get out, whatever it might be. So it's not very often that I get to play them. But I'm planning to at some point maybe do like a marathon, as mentioned with a Shinobi 3, maybe something like, or even like a playthrough. If I do a YouTube playthrough, it's something that's going to keep me consistently playing the game and doing parts for it and whatever it might be. So, and maybe I'll create like room just specifically for that console just because I'm planning to do a playthrough. So that might be like a good way of getting that done. The next game we have here is actually one of my first probably Genesis games, like physical games that I got, and that's Winter Challenge. So this one I actually have in a protective case because it's a cardboard box, but this one I played with a few friends. Um, for what it's worth, I mean, it's a Genesis console, so the sports games and just games in general back in the day weren't like amazing compared to what it is now, but I found these games to be pretty solid. I mean, you have some skiing, like shooting, whatever. It's supposed to be like Olympic style games, I guess. So uh, yeah, pretty good game. So the next game we have here is Tom and Jerry Fren Frantic Antics. This one I picked up at a military base when I was at NTC in California. We had some time before we left. Um, and we went into like on base there and there was a retro game store there. So. I saw this game for a decent price and I picked it up along with a couple other games, so... Uh, yeah. I think I'm, I might have put it in just to try it to make sure it works. I was, I think, sealed at the time, but... I'm not the kind of person who keeps games sealed forever. Unless it's a game that I already platinum completed and I just happened to get, like, whatever collector's version of it or just some sort of version of it. Maybe I'll keep it sealed at that point until, like, I decide to play it again. And if I really want to play, like, I'll unseal it, but that's really, like, the only time that I keep things sealed, so. Or if I have it on, like, PlayStation Store and then I happen to get the physical version, maybe I'll keep the physical version sealed. But, anyways. So the next game that we have here is Batman Forever. So this game is, from what I heard, not that great. But I think at the time that I got it, I just watched, like, I might have played it a little bit through... Uh, an emulator and I kind of just watched some videos on it and it didn't seem horrible at least from what I played of it so I figured why not pick it up but yeah I don't know if I'll ever play through it completely or not but we'll see next game is Sonic 2 the Hedgehog so it was either this one or the one that comes on my emulator that I played for a decent amount of time. The only thing that sucks with these games is you can't save in like the Sonic games unless you maybe use an emulator and you use like save point, like uh, save states or that sort of thing. But there's not really like a save spot in it. There's not password type saves or anything. So you almost have to like play the whole game through, or else you're gonna have to restart. And I think if you die, like you lose all your all your lives, you may have to restart the whole game. I don't remember fully. It's been a little bit of time since I played it, but. If that's the case, obviously it's like it makes it a lot more challenging and it also like becomes a lot more time consuming unless you're really good at it, so just one of those games and if I get the chance maybe I'll get completely through it, but if not, so be it. I'll enjoy playing through the first few levels. And yeah, that's it. So next game here is Eternal Champions. Or yeah, Eternal Champions. This game's pretty solid. I mean it's not the best fighting game in the world but it's pretty cheap and it's decent i mean it, i think it looks better than it plays but overall not bad it comes with the manual of the game so it's another game in a genesis collection 
Next one that we have here is Mortal Kombat 3. Now, Mortal Kombat is probably my favorite fighter game series. Um, I have a decent amount of Mortal Kombat games. I've played them on N64. i played the Genesis versions. i played the PS1 versions, the PS2, PS3, PS4. Like, I played them throughout my childhood. So, definitely a series that I love having in the collection and playing. There's a few other ones that I want to pick up for some of the older consoles, but they are a little bit pricey nowadays, so... But yeah, definitely, if, for anybody who's a new collector for Genesis, and you love Mortal Kombat, these games are usually pretty cheap to pick up. They're one of the... and they usually come complete, like I have the manual and the game here, so... Definitely something that I would recommend getting. Then, as we come to almost the end here, we have Bram Stoker's Dracula. So, Bits and Glory played through this on his stream a little while ago, probably like over a year ago now. I forget if you played the... I think there's also a SNES version of this, and then there's a Genesis version. I forget which one he played. I could be wrong as well, but... Anyways, it looked like a pretty decent game. I tried it a little bit on one of the emulators just to see if I like it. And I did find it enjoyable, so I picked it up. It's pretty cheap, and I think it's kind of based off of a movie. I've never seen the movie, but maybe something to watch at some point. Just I think it's like a really old movie as well, so... But, yeah. So there's that. And then we get to our final game for Genesis. So this one's actually like the 32X, the one that I mentioned. And that is Doom. I heard this version of Doom is not that great. I mean... I'm a fan of Doom personally, looking at the screenshots it doesn't look amazing, but being a Doom fan I feel like it's one of those games that you just have to have in your collection, and it, I don't have the 32x expansion right now, but at some point I'm planning to pick it up so I can try some of these 32x games out for this uh, Genesis. I think the purpose of it was it allows you to play the like games that are a little bit more, um, I guess, bigger size, so it allows for more uh, Texture, sprites, whatever sounds like it, it gives you a little bit more power, I guess you could say. But when I initially bought this, I wasn't even aware of that. So, and then I realized that their cartridges are a little bit bigger, I think, or like a little bit of a different shape to them. But, anyways, happy to have this one in the collection. I think it comes with the manual and the game. The manual for it is just black and white. It seems like most of the Genesis game or manuals are black and white. I think Nintendo usually has manuals that are more colored even for like retro systems but genesis seems to be mostly black and white but it's still better than nothing honestly i mean nowadays you get either nothing or like a random stupid advertisement paper so yeah anyways guys this concludes this video uh if you enjoyed it feel free to subscribe feel free to like i mean it's all free it doesn't cost you anything to hit like or subscribe if you don't like it let me know what you want me to improve on and if you have any ideas for other videos you want to see, whether it's me going more in depth for some of these games, me playing through any of these games, you want to see a playthrough of it, let me know. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.